John Hero. I'm the project chairman for the new Gaboni Emmanuel United Church. We started this in 1999, towards the end of 2000, uh, year 2000. That's why we call that project uh, Project 2000. And um, it was within the family. We discussed and then we introduced it to the church. There was some stiff opposition, but then we eventually got it out of the way. And in 2005, we had a groundbreaking. The actual construction of the project started to the end, towards the end of 2007. That's where the foundation work started. Okay, well, when it, the, the actual construction started 2007. So when you really look at the construction time, it's 14 years. The biggest challenge we face is uh, about the feeding of the workers and uh, and uh, when the programs, second programs arises or the community programs arises, whether to put off the, the construction work or to run to keep keep going. Because they have the limited time, time is catching up. Well, I, I thought uh, it will take another two or three years, but uh, as, as long as I was coming closer, I thought they will finish on time because they're, they're, they're commitment. In uh, 2020. In any industry, even, even outside, one, one of my key factors, or one of the key factors that people tend to miss or, or not practice well is building right relations. When you build right relations, people walk by their feet when they turn up. When you treat them well, when you treat them with dignity, at home, in communities such as this, usually people don't see you let you work alone. It's a, it's a community based, and there's some somewhere somehow you are related to them. And so you, when you do some really good things, small things, even how minute it is. It, it translates to people turning up every time, even you are not watching them. Building the right relationship, people want to work for you. Some come because of that. Some come because they love God, and uh, they want, to, you know, they put their efforts in because of their worship to God. Some because they, their friends come along, so they come, but. Our motto here on this project is feel good men. You know, when we try to mobilize a lot of people and do something, for anybody can start anything. But only few finish well. Along the way, when you try to mobilize people and try to attract people, and, and you know, when, the, when the numbers dwindle and go down, you tend to be disheartened, but you should be re reminded that only few good men is all you need that can make, make it keep turning over. Then it will come to an end. I've seen in this project, it's those few good men who had, st who had stuck together during the teen time of thin and thick uh, had paid off. Um. I walked the walkathon from Sion Kamin Church to Hula. From Hula, uh, we completed there, so we came back. Uh, walkathon for this uh, new church building. Currently, you can see it. Uh, quite a good number, roughly about 50, yeah, 50 to 60 people attended that, uh, joining that walkathon. I can say that I'm a handyman. Any, any job that is available, especially they, once I'm delegated, uh, I, I tried my very best to complete uh, whatever is given. My main job is especially uh, 
the designing of the ark, uh, doing those ark. Once the, once the boss is given the delegation to me, I also carpentry job, a bit of welding, a bit of electrician, and plastering, all those. Obviously, one of the big challenges in any construction is there's still three things. One is time, one is the, the manpower, the equipment, the resources, and, and, uh, and, uh, and the money for it. When we did the groundbreaking, one of the things that was posed to us was how do we, because of the size of the village and, and how the village is, how do we generate funds towards this project? And so village people opted for inviting some big, big shots or big ministers, uh, parliamentarians, so that they could help fund this project because of the men's, uh, our people's capability. When I had a meeting with them, we said, uh, well, we are not gonna, we invited about seven, well, seven names came to the, to the front, but I said, well, we would be lucky to get one. And for them to come and visit us, as a minister, even, even our district rep, the population, because of the population, he wouldn't be able to come, because probably be too minor about it, because he won't get much vote in here. So, when I presented it, I said, you know, if we really want God to build our church, we should really not even think about the ministers. We should think about the ministers for the church. Since the establishment of United Church in the village, we should look back and see if we could bring back those ministers. If they have died, we bring their children. You know, in that way, we are telling God to build our church. So that's that's what happened in the beginning when we before the before the groundbreaking, and we did that. Since my term as the chairman, like uh, I'm the the uh, among all the the leaders, I'm the youngest, and like there's a lot of achievements that that I see the progress of the the project and the activities, the second activities that. Uh, people manage to to execute like it's, it's so so overwhelming our power of our giving at that time before we started the church was 18,000 a year when we started this project we spent we had a savings of about 36,000 every four months I would come for break and we would have a meeting. And 36,000, we spent about 33,000 to go and buy materials. When I came back four months after, the, our money that we collected went to 46,000 cash. And we spent about another 40 odd thousand to buy more materials. When I came four months later, we had 65,000. So uh, from, from the beginning to now, money has not been an issue. There are times that we look for it, but we, because we said God to build our church, money has not been an issue. Now, we, we are gonna finish the project by about 4.3 million. The government's assi assistance is about 0.2 of a million. Well, not two, not point two yet, but point one four five. And uh, French from outside have contributed about point one of a million. The balance of it, four million, had come from the village. And that's that's a big achievement in itself for village to generate that sort of money. It's never been done before. I don't know whether it's going to be replicated in the future as well. So I see that in itself is a big miracle as well. And uh, really, literally, manpower. 
there wasn't crane, there wasn't any crane used. We do, did scuffling, but it was scuffling where we cut bamboos and we put, put this thing up. And a lot of people, the neighboring villages wondered, what were we building? The yellowfin tuna came to our shores. And they are ocean fish. And uh, you know, the deep sea fish came to our shores in, in, the, in schools. And they were gonna, if we were not gonna catch it, they were gonna jump on the shores too. The guys, one of the guys has to go and grab them and throw them on the shores. This was in 2007. And so what they did was they threw the net around it and they dragged it up. They couldn't carry, a person could carry only one up. If he was carrying two up, he would be really busted by the time he arrived at the beach. So we went and loaded them in the vehicle. And that's the first time I've, I've checked with my father. I said, Dad, during your time, this, as this happened, he said, never in, in my lifetime. I don't think in your grandfather's lifetime. So, and and since that time, never since after that as well. So, you know, that was one of the first signs, a miracle sign, uh, while building this. Despite of um, uh, some setbacks, but I want to continue serving in this, in this church or in this community, because the, 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 the leadership and the Christians are working together. Well, it's, there's ups and downs, but uh, one thing they motivate me is uh, uh, they always at the back of the me, at, at the back of me, even the Christians. Once I'm down, but they are there to help me. Despite of the, the construction is on, but our working relationship with my office and the deacons and the church is always very good. So many, I've put up so many projects. I've been the project manager for many, um, I worked in the mining industry and in the private sector. And I have more than 35 years of experience. And I put up a lot of infrastructure during my time. I've been a structural engineer and a civil engineer. And um, this project gives, makes me think. This project gives me a lot more satisfaction and putting up a set building, which is, you know, probably 20 times this size in term money-wise. But this project gives me a lot of, lot more satisfaction because you, when you walk away from that, those sort of projects, you are remembered for that time. It's gone. Somebody comes and makes modification to it, and you, your work is forgotten. But this one, a lot of people can translate that to truly what he has achieved, he has demonstrated it here. You know, they can, your people can relate to it oh, and say oh, what he has achieved, truly, what he has learned at school or what he has experienced at work, he can be able to translate it at our level gives you that, you know, real satisfaction. We are building it, but when we look at the building itself as well, a lot of my expatriate friends and a lot of my technical friends who are, who are technically, you know, fully vested, architects or, or those, even the engineers, they look at the building and they really marvel at it. I myself admire it as well, you know, and I, I see God really, you can do this when we allow you to be part of that. And so really that's a big achievement and a big, big satisfaction for me, if you ask me. One of the things that I achieved, well, personally is, there's a lot of potential in people. It's only when you create the avenue to to extract it, or you know, rather than exploit them, build that right relation, they they can 
do wonderful things. I mean, look at this church, for instance. This has been built by people from home. They look at it and they say, have we really built this, you know? And, and so, you know, my, my encouragement or my take is, build a right relation and you can, you can, you know, sky is the limit, they say. You can achieve great things. Welcome. Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit.